Hi there, the following video will introduce negative indices. Now in some textbooks you may see as a definition the following. Take a base number a, raise it to the power of negative n where n is a whole number and you will get the answer 1 divided by a to the power of positive n. For example, 2 to the power of minus 3 will equal 1 divided by 2 to the positive 3 and 2 to the power of 3 is 8 so this is simply equal to 1 over 8. Now you'll see that written as a definition um, but what I would like to do is show you where this definition or notation might come from to start with. So here we go. I want you to consider the following division. 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 1. We've done our division rule in a previous video. That must be equal to 2 to the power of 4 subtract 1 or 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Let's continue the pattern. 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 2 this time. Well, that must be equal to 2 to the power of 4 subtract 2, which is 2, and the answer to that is 4. 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 3 must therefore equal 2 to the power of 4 subtract 3, which is 1, and 2 to the power of 1 is simply 2. 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 4 must equal 2 to the power of 4 subtract 4, which is 0, and we've shown in a previous video that this is equal to 1. Now I want to pose two more questions. 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 5 and 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 6. And ask you what you think those are equal to. Well on the one hand we can still use our division rule for indices. 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 5 is 2 to the power of 4 subtract 5 which is minus 1. And 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 6 is 2 to the power of 4 subtract 6 which is minus 2. Now my question to you is what are 2 to the minus 1 and 2 to the minus 2 equal to? Well, Let's take a moment to see what we've done here. Well we're doing a division with the base number is 2 and each time in the division we are increasing the indice of the second number by 1. And what are we doing to our answer? Well, the first answer we got was 8, and then the second answer we got was 4. We divided by 2. The second answer was 4, the third answer was 2. We again divided by 2. To get the next answer, we divided this 2 by another 2. So each time we seem to be dividing by 2. So I suggest to you that the answer to 2 to the minus 1 must be the previous answer, 1, divided by 2. And 2 written as an index number is 2 to the power of 1. What would the next answer be? Well again we must have to divide by another 2. 1 divided by 2, we've already divided by 1 2 so I'm going to divide by another 2 and that will be the same as writing 1 divided by 2 squared. So we can see a pattern here. 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 2 to the positive 2. In general 2 to the minus n will equal 1 divided by 2 to the positive n. And we could have chosen any number as our base, not just 2 here. So that gives you a feel for where in, it, negative index notation might come from. Let's do a few examples. In general then, a base number to the negative n is 1 over that base to the positive n. 2 to the minus 3 must equal 1 over 2 to the positive 3, which is 1 over 8. 10 to the minus 2 must equal 1 over 10 to the positive 2, which is 1 over 100. x is our base here, not a number. x to the minus 3 must be 1 over x to the positive 3. We can't work out x to the 3, we'll just leave it like that. If 1x to the minus 3 is 1 over x to the 3, my question is what is 5 of these? What is 5 of these? Well, it must be 5 times 1 over x to the 3, which is simply 5 over x to the 3. y to the minus 8, well that's 1 over y to the positive 8. And last one, 3 quarters y to the minus 8. Well that must be 3 quarters times 1 over y to the 8, using example 5. 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times y to the 8 is simply 4y to the 8. And hence we have the following in negative index notation.